Do you know what? As Pussy. What? Going to Gordon. Yeah. What? Do you know what? Sally. Say Gordon. Of course I don't know what. If you don't tell me what the heck what is. The fact controller said that the work of the yard is getting too much for me. So he's getting a bigger wrench to help me. Rubbish, said James. Any engine could do it. If you worked more and chatted less, the shed would be a sweeter, better, and happier place. Percy went off to find some coaches. That stupid old sector, he said, remembering the time he misunderstood a sector and gone backwards when he should have went forwards. No one listens to me now. They think I'm a silly little engine and know me about. I'll show those big engines. But he doesn't know how. And by the end of the afternoon, he felt tired and unhappy. He brought some coaches to the ex to the station. Hello, Percy, said the fat controller. You look tired. Yes, said Percy. Who knows if I'm standing on my dome or on my wheels. You look the right way up to me, laughed the fat controller. Cheer up. The new engine is bigger than you. I could probably do the work on his own. You can? Yes, Pussy. Yes. Would you like to help out when you're Harper? Thomas and Chubby will help. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir, said Pussy. So Pussy left. The new engine arrived the following after morning. And what's your name? asked the fire controller. My name's Montague, sir, but I'm usually called Duck. They say I waddle, even though I don't really do so. But I like Duck better than Montague, sir. Good. Duck it shall be. Soon, Percy came in. Here, Percy. Show Duck around, please, said the fire controller. And soon, the two engines went off together and were kept very busy. The three big engines watched Duck quietly doing his work. He seems a simple sort of engine, said Henry. We'll have some fun and order him about. Heavens above, said Duck. Pussies were exasperated, and despite that, Duck took no notice. Don't get tired of it soon, said Duck. Do they tell you to do things, Percy? Yes, they do, answered Percy. Right, said Duck. We'll soon stop that nonsense. You whispered something to Percy. We'll do it later. And so they set off. The fat controller was looking forward to hot butter toast for tea at home. Oh, for heaven's sake, said the fat controller, and hurried to the, to the yard. Duck and Percy calmly sat on a turntable outside the shed, refusing to let any of the big engines in. Gordon, James and Henry were exasperated. The bell of the fat controller. They won't let us in, hissed Gordon. Duck, explain this behaviour. Big pardon, sir. But I am a great western engine, but we do our work without fuss. But begging your pardon, sir, Percy and I would be glad if you inform these uh, engines that we only take orders from you. We take orders from you. Stop the fat controller. Percy and Jack, I'm pleased with your work today, but not with your attitude tonight. You have caused a disturbance. Sorry, sir, said the two engines. Gordon, Henry and James sniggered. And as for you three, for the fat controller, you've been rash. You've made the disturbance. But Duck is quite right. This is my railway, and I give the orders. And after that, Percy went away, and Duck was left to manage alone. He did so easily, 